If you're moving to the Boston area this year and you're looking at different areas, different suburbs and neighborhoods, trying to figure out which one matches your lifestyle best, and you're curious about Newton, good news, that is exactly what we're talking about in this video today. What is there to do and see in Newton when it comes to living Boston? So let's get into it. Hey, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Pystrup. And real quick, if you're moving to Newton or somewhere else in Boston and you want some help navigating the process of either buying a home or signing a lease in this crazy real estate market, give us a call, send over a text or send over an email. Let's get in touch. Let's start that conversation to get you here to the Boston area. We are real estate advisors and my favorite part of my job is sharing this beautiful city with the clients I work with who are moving here, sometimes for the first time ever visiting Boston and figuring out where they see themselves living in the Boston area. So if that sounds like you, like I said, send over an email or send us a text. Let's get in touch, schedule a call and see see what we can do for you. Jumping right into this video, Newton is one of the first western suburbs of Boston, so it's just past the city, still very close to Boston. It really borders the city of Boston, but it's in the suburbs, so you have a really nice, beautiful, and charming suburban lifestyle in Newton, but you're not too far away from the city, so you're still really close to Boston. You're still almost in the city. You're just touching the city, but it's one of the suburbs of Boston, so it's, it's really got that suburban lifestyle if you're not someone who wants to be in the middle of the city, in the thick of it, and you want a more suburban area, Newton is gonna be perfect for you. And being so close to Boston, Newton is very central. It's very convenient to live in Newton. There's plenty of highways that will take you into Boston and all the way out west towards Worcester, towards Amherst. It's central, it's convenient. It's very easy to commute around the Newton area if you live there. Newton is beautiful, it is gorgeous. The area itself just has some phenomenal neighborhoods and properties that you will see. It's definitely seen as kind of one of these prestigious areas to live in the Boston area. So it's not exactly cheap to live in Newton. So at the end of last year, just to give you perspective, the average selling price of a house, single family house in Newton was over $1.7 million. So it is higher on the price spectrum in Newton, which makes it difficult, you know, if you're, if you're, you know, buying your first house in Newton or you know, you're not quite at that price point, it's difficult to find something lower on the price spectrum in an area like Newton. So I will say that it definitely has, you know, some homes that will be higher up on the price spectrum compared to some of the areas that are around it. Now, the really cool thing about Newton is that yes, obviously it's a suburb in Boston, but it's not exactly seen as like one unified area with one downtown area or one shopping part of town. Newton is really kind of this combination of 13 villages, kind of like 13 small towns that all come together and that is what Newton is. So there's 13 villages and each one of these villages kind of, you know, has its own personality, has a different feel to it. They'll have their own shopping areas, different parks, different parts of Newton will have a different lifestyle that you will see. So Newton definitely is, you know, one town, but it has kind of 13 different areas within it that will have different things to offer as far as shopping, dining, houses that you will see. So it really is like 13 different, you know, lifestyles that you have to choose from if you're looking at Newton. Or actually, some people might say 14 or 15, and I'll explain that in a minute, but really there's 13 villages in Newton, and that's what Newton is. It's 13 that kind of come together, and that's the town of Newton. So like I said, there's 13, but maybe 14 or 15 different villages that are all in Newton. Now the thing is, these are not like official cities of their own, they're all in Newton, but it's kind of like unofficial. There's not really official boundaries and borders from one to the next. They are all within Newton, but they're kind of in these informal areas that are all in the Newton area. And you know, people who live in Newton, sometimes one person will tell you that this village is part of another. Sometimes another person will tell you these are two different things. And sometimes one person will call it one thing and someone else will call it a different name. So it's very unofficial, but you really do have these 13 distinct areas in Newton. So to list these off for you, and in a minute I'll explain why these are important, 
The 13 official villages of Newton are Auburndale, Chestnut Hill, Newton Center, Newton Corner, Newton Highlands, Newton Lower Falls, Newton Upper Falls, Newtonville, Nonentum, Oak Hill, Thompsonville, Wabin, and West Newton. Now those are the 13 villages that are listed on the City of Newton's website. But here's the thing, if you click the map for the City of Newton, it will show you 14. And the reason being, they separate Oak Hill and Oak Hill Park. So that's the thing where I'm saying, there's 13 that are officially listed, but then some people tell you Oak Hill Park is a different. In that case, are there 14 villages? Are there 15? Another one you might hear of is called Four Corners, which some people will tell you is a different village, and others will tell you it's not its own thing. It's part of different other villages, but it doesn't stand on its own. And the reason why that's kind of confusing sometimes is because if you look at listings on Zillow or online, Trulia, Realtor.com, if you're looking at these places for sale or houses for rent, and they're in Newton, it doesn't always show Newton in the address. So sometimes you'll see something like 123 Main Street, Wobbin, Mass. And if you try to find Wobbin or Auburndale, you're not gonna find as much as you would see for Newton. And I've definitely had clients who've said like, hey, Jacob, I love this house, but it says it's in Wobbin. I have no idea where that is. So I have to explain, you know, this is how the villages work in Newton. And actually that place is located in Newton, but it's in the village of Wobbin, which is why you'll see that used as the address in the address line on Zillow. So it says Wobbin, which is the village, so it's not exactly wrong, but it's located in Newton. And it's kind of tough because if you want to be in a specific village like Wobbin or Thompsonville, you can't always search for that on Zillow or online because sometimes one place might list it as Wobbin and another place in the same area just says Newton. So it's kind of confusing the way they have the villages set up and with these properties you'll see online, one place might say the village and another place might just say it's in Newton. So even though Newton is right next to Boston and you're like 10 minutes away from downtown Boston if you live in Newton, it definitely has more of a charming kind of neighborhood feel to it with these villages that kind of feel like small towns, not, you know, an area that's right next to a big city. So if you like that, then you'll definitely find that charming feel in one of these villages located in Newton. And, you know, each of these neighborhoods in Newton have something different to offer. So if you're looking at Newton Corner or Oak Hill Park or Chestnut Hill, you will find something different in each village of Newton. And some of the villages in Newton tend to be more widely known than some others. So for example, Chestnut Hill is one of the most well-known villages in Newton. Technically, part of it is in Newton, part of it is in Brookline, and part of it is in the city of Boston, depending on where in Chestnut Hill you are. But Chestnut Hill is gorgeous, it is very popular, Everybody in Boston knows Chestnut Hill. And obviously you have Boston College in Chestnut Hill. And one of my closest friends, Christopher, went to BC, so he's very familiar with Chestnut Hill. So when I said, hey, I was doing this video on Newton today, he was like, oh my gosh, you have to talk about Chestnut Hill. You can't talk about Newton without at least mentioning Chestnut Hill and BC and telling people what a beautiful area it is. So yes, it is very well known. Chestnut Hill is a gorgeous part to live in Newton. Newton overall, is just a very, you know, beautiful, established, you know, well-maintained suburb. If you just drive through or take a walk through Newton, you will notice it's just gorgeous. It is a beautiful town. The landscaping is always phenomenal. These neighborhoods are beautiful. The houses, the shops, the roads you'll go down in Newton are beautiful. It's just such a nice, you know, charming part of Boston that still is within the Boston area. You're close to the city, but it feels like a town of its own. So that is what people really love about Newton who moved to the area. Newton also has just a bunch of outdoor green space, parks, if you're someone who likes natural beauty or you just like being outside, there's also several golf courses and country clubs to choose from in the Newton area. I mean, that's kind of the best way I can describe Newton. It is a beautiful and charming town, but right next to Boston, so you're still very central and very conveniently located in the Boston area. 
Like I said, it unfortunately can be up there as far as price. Newton is not a cheap area to live, more so with the houses than the condos, and more so with buying than with renting. So if you're renting, there is plenty of condos and apartments to choose from. Renting a house will be more expensive than a condo, but for purchasing in Newton, buying a single family house is the most expensive option there will be on the market. But overall, different price ranges and different properties you will see in Newton, there are some beautiful options if you're moving to the area. So like I said, if you're moving to Newton or somewhere else in the Boston area and you want some help navigating that process of buying a house or a condo or signing a lease in this crazy real estate market, send us a text or send us an email. Let's get in touch. Let's schedule a call together, see what we can do for you, and hopefully get you here to Boston and possibly Newton. So with that being said, that is going to wrap up the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Take care, have a great day, and I will catch you in the next video right here on the Living Boston channel.